Hi uh, people, Greg the World hit me back again. Um, today um, I'm starting this one at long last. Uh, it's the um, sop with, um, oh, sorry, sop with Muppet, um, Fairy Swordfish uh, Mark 1 from the Channel Dash collection that a dear friend of mine kindly gave me. Um, I've already built the Spitfire. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start this one finally after waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, Oh, I don't want it. Um, I've got a selection of um, elastic threads um, so I can do the rigging. Um, I've already made a little bit of a start. There's nothing much to show at the minute. Just uh, been painting the uh, interior green on some of the parts. Yeah, so I'm going to get the rest of the interior bits painted the correct colours and um, I'll bring you back once I've stuck a few bits together. I'll see you shortly. Alright, here we go, there's the cockpit assembly done, um, that was that was interesting, it fell apart the first time, um, the glue didn't take because there was um, paint on the, on the gluing services, but yeah, a little bit of doctrine on the uh, on the chap who sits in the middle, um, but other than that, um, quite impressed how the, um, how the pilots, uh, the guys actually fitted in there, uh, as soon as this kit didn't come with them, so it wasn't actually designed for it, um, I had to trim uh, the pilot seat, um, the seat of it down quite a lot. Um, I'm not convinced his backrest is big enough. I'm not convinced that that's the right size seat for this scale of aircraft. But you know, hell, it works. Um, so yeah, that's that done. I'm I'm very happy with that. So um, yeah, get on with the next stage. I'll bring you back when I've done that. See you in a bit. Oh, I've got the uh, fuselage together. Well, so I say together. Um, it does not want to go together um i had to slice into the pilot's arm to get it to sort of fit the um his headrest doesn't meet and uh, it'd been left overnight with um with tape on and uh, when i took the a bit of tape off the off the tail end um it hadn't stuck together so i'm doing it again and holding it um i know the front in the, in front of the cockpit hasn't gone together particularly well either um yeah, it, it's an awful fit. Uh, I'm not really best pleased with it. Um, but, you know, it, it was a free kit. Um, and plus, I do like a challenge. So, um, I'll bring you back once I've successfully put this thing together. Yeah, one of the big issues with this kit is how their parts are moulded onto the sprue. I mean, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a great big lump. Great big lump where it joins onto the sprue. I mean, there's five of them on that bit uh, I'd understand if, oh hang on no no there's not like semicircles in in the fuselage for it to match up with um, just spotted the two at the front but they, they match up with that whatever that's for I think that's part where, where the landing gear is gonna go so yeah that's a bit aggro um, never mind All right on with it upwards All right, well that was a fight getting the the bottom and a yeah uh, of the wing with well, the ring route on um yeah a real real blimmin nightmare trying to get this thing together um i've had to restick the rear half of the fuselage i'll put the bottom on um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna need like a probably half a tube of filler on this thing i'm uh, i'm not impressed shall we say um i don't want to know it's me adding the crew that's caused the problem um, but I really don't think so because it seems to be the whole area not just where the pilot is and the other two crew members fit snugly inside as you saw earlier so yeah it's not a wonderful kit but never mind um, we need that to drive for a few hours because um, I'm going out I'll speak to you later on ta -da. all right there we go um, yeah that bit there behind the pilot's head where his cushion is i think that's where it's meant to be um i just spent the last half an hour trying to stick together it did not want to go um yeah i just i tried super glue um and i tried again with um with the what's it the usual tamiya cement the extra thin stuff or normal thickness actually sorry um yeah and then held it uh, got a clamp on there but to hold the clamp in place um, for about 20 minutes and I think it's yeah I think it's stuck this time that took some doing um, 
yeah, this bit here, I um, end up using super glue and then holding it together for a minute. Um, that bit still needs filling. Um, and I think there's some filler needed there. Um, yeah, that was um, that was fun. Um, but at least that's finally the, the fuse that I was buttoned up. I know there's a gap in front of the pilot, but I can't do out about that. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, almost for the next stage. Woohoo! This kit is just awful. Nothing fits. Look at that split. Ah! I've just noticed that bit's come apart again as well. You little... Right, okay, I'm back with this again. Um, I am literally about to sack it. Um, it is a god awful kit. Um, I mean, I was just sitting there looking at it, and you know, I put everything together correctly. Um, yet the um, the radio operator and the rear gunner sitting too low. Um, everything's put together. Everything's as it should be. Um, but you know, the the chaps are below the line of the um, of the fuselage. What the heck is going on? Yeah. You know, Either that or this kit is not actually officially 172nd scale. Um, I don't get it because these are 172nd scale chaps and they should sit in there nicely. Okay, I've had to doctor them to get them into the seats, but you know, um, absolute rubbish. Um, so this kit's going back in its box and um, yeah, sacked. <sighs> what am I going to do? Yeah, what else can I do in this situation? It's, it's so annoying. Um, I was really looking forward to building this. I love the sawfish. It's one of my favourite aeroplanes. But never mind. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all of that jazz. And I'll speak to you on the next one very soon.